Welcome to the October 29th session of the Larry Under Pressure YouTube channel. In this video, Larry will be demonstrating how to fix quick, easy, and delicious brats and kraut. This cook is done in the Instant Pot or any other pressure cooker you have available. So let's cut to the kitchen. Welcome to the video. I'm Larry at Larry Under Pressure. And tonight in this video, we're fixing brats with kraut. A real easy dish, but a delicious dish. When they're done, you can fix them either on uh, mashed potatoes or with rice and with the rest of your meal, or you can have them on a bun like a hot dog. That's the way I like them the best. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, Instant Pot. We're using the third generation Instant Pot and I'm gonna put it on a saute and go ahead and get it um, preheated and then we'll take it to the next step. The Instant Pot just beeped indicating that it's preheated and ready for us to saute these bratwurst. So the first thing I'm gonna do is these bratwurst, I'm gonna pierce them all three or four times with a fork so they don't explode. They have oil in them or a fat in them and the skin is so tight on them always that if you don't pierce them, they'll blow an end out or at least blow up and puncture. So we wanna do that. Next thing we wanna do is spray a little oil into the pan. I'm using some avocado oil and I'm spraying that in there so these won't stick. And then I'm gonna put the bratwurst in the pan and we're gonna saute them and move to the next step after that. So let's get these in there. We want them nicely browned on both sides because when we pressure cook them with the kraut, they won't get any browner. And you eat with your eyes and bratwurst aren't very good when they're not brown. Let's let those heat up for just a minute and then we'll flip them over. Remember, we don't have to be careful in the Instant Pot because it's stainless steel, so we don't have to worry about scratching the surface of it like you do on a pot that has a nonstick coating. Move these around in the oil to make sure they don't stick. We're gonna let those brown for a minute and then we'll turn them, so I'll be right back. We've got these bad boys browned on one side, so we're gonna turn them now and brown the other side. They smell good. I love the spicy smell of bratwurst. When I was younger, I didn't care for them at all, and I've gotten where I really like them. They're slippery. I can't get hold of them with these tongs. How about I get hold of it with my hand, even though it's hot? Here we go. You can see the browning on those on the camera. We're going to let them brown on that side for about four to five minutes, and then we'll move to the next step. These are nice and brown on both sides now. So we're going to take them out of the pot and put them on a plate until we're ready to pressure cook them. Now the next step we're going to do um, is part of the lesson for today. The lesson is that most of you who watch my videos on a regular basis know I'm not a big onion eater. So if you like onions and you would like, this would be the perfect time to put the onions in the pot and saute them and have them ready to go. But I don't, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some Guinness extra stout beer um, and there won't be any alcohol in the dish because it'll boil out in the first minute or two. But you can use a, broth, a vegetable broth or a chicken broth or whatever, but you need some liquid. So I'm going to pour that in the pot and we're going to deglaze the pan from the drippings that are still in there from the brats. And there's not much because the bratwurst are real clean the way they cook. So we're going to deglaze the pan with the beer and we would also be deglazing it with the onions if we had them in there. But as I told you, I don't care for them, so I'm not going to cook them. I'm uh, a big boy and I don't have to eat them like I used to have to when my mom made me eat them. So we've got that in there. And you can see that it's nicely browning. Well, it was already brown because it's a brown stout ale. But there's nothing left on the bottom of the pan. 
So I'm going to put a little bit more of the ale in there. And then I'm going to get some kraut. And I'm going to drop it in even before I put the sausage or the brats. And then I'm going to put more brats on top of the on top of this. I'm using this kind of as a foundation. There we go. Put a little bit of that in there. Let's put the bratwurst back in. This is going to be so good. I can't wait to eat it. This is supper for tonight for me. I'm using one, two, three, four, five brats. That's what came in the package. So that's what I'm using. And with this sauerkraut, I'm using the juice and all. And I'm going to just scatter it around on top of the, the brats. Right in the pan. And cook it in there just like that. You can get it in a jar like this. It also comes in a bag, refrigerated, and uh, several ways. So however you get it and however you like it, and whatever style of it that you like is, is just fine. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to put the lid on the Instant Pot. And we'll go to the front and turn it on. We're ready to get started with it. We're going to start on pressure cook and we're going to cook for six minutes. That's all we're going to do. And in this new generation of the Instant Pot, you don't have a choice for high or low pressure. It's all high, which is fine. None of us ever hardly use the low pressure anyway. So there's six minutes on pressure cook. We're going to start and it's going to preheat and once it does, it'll start the countdown to six minutes, and I'll come back and we'll check it out. It's been seven minutes, and it just cut over to cook because it's up to temperature and pressure. So we have six minutes to go on the cook, and at the end of that six, I'll check back. But at that time, we're going to let it go ahead and begin a ten-minute natural uh, release. So we won't open it or depressurize it. For 10 minutes after it finishes cooking and I'll be back and we'll do that. It's just now ready to cut over to the keep warm in two seconds. There we go the cooking is finished and it's over on keep warm. We're gonna let it stay on keep warm and do a natural release for 10 minutes before we open it. At the end of the 10 minutes we'll open it, take a look, see how they look and take them out of the pot. As you can see, the pot just changed over to 10, which means that it has finished the 10 minute cool down cycle. Uh, these newer versions of these pots are real informative. It shows that I'm on keep warm and also 10 minutes. As soon as it finishes the main cooking cycle, it begins counting up to show you how long it's been on keep warm. So it's ready for us to let the pressure off, open the lid and take the contents out. So let's get started doing that. Let's let the pressure off. There wasn't much in there. With these new pots also, you don't have to fool with the pressure release. You can have a little switch that does it for you so you don't risk burning your hand with the steam that's coming out. The interesting thing is these new pots are less expensive than the old pots. And I'll have a link at the end of this video and the information below a purchase link for Amazon where you can purchase this pot and purchase it at a really good price. So if you're interested in one or need one, make sure you order it through the site because it helps us. There we go. Put this lid down. And I'm going to get some buns out and we'll take this apart and put some on the buns and see how they taste. These buns can be toasted, steamed, microwaved, 
or then just plain like I have them. Any way you like them. Let's put a bratwurst in this. Oh wow. Put some sauerkraut on there. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's do a second one because I'm eating two. Put some extra kraut on that one. Now you can jazz these up. I like them with mustard, some coarse ground mustard. Also I wanted to mention, I know it's kind of a conflict that I used an Irish beer on a dish like this that's really a dish from Germany. It looks like you use a German beer and you certainly can. I just like the kind of beer that I used and I thought it would be a good idea to use it. So that's what I did. They're the bratwurst. I'm going to give them a taste in just a minute when they cool off a little bit and I'll give you a report. These have cooled a few minutes now, so let's see if I can take a bite without burning my mouth up. Mm-hmm. Real good. Very good. Tender and nice. Delicious and spicy with the sauerkraut. Everything about them is very good. Hope you'll pick some and hope you'll enjoy them as much as I'm going to enjoy these two. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And also, click on the inform button on the little bell so that when I upload new videos, you'll be notified right away and will um, be able to look at them right off the bat. I enjoy doing these and enjoy having you all watch with me and look forward to hosting you for our next video. Until then, take care. We've presented a really great meal idea tonight in our video, and thank you for joining us. Brats and kraut are always a good, quick go-to meal. If you're already a subscriber and returning for this video, you know we love you and are always glad to have you here. If not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to support the work we do. It costs you nothing and helps the channel to get out to more and more viewers. Below, you'll find a purchase link for this new version of the Instant Pot used in the cook. It's a great improvement, and we highly recommend it. This has been a Larry Under Pressure production.